What's up guys, my name is Zero Heroes and welcome back to more Gates of Hell and today we are going to be looking at how to find and delete mods in your files. Now this is not purely based off just going into the Steam Workshop and pressing unsubscribe and then deleting it in game. This is from the actual files where it's saved in your whether it's C drive or external hard drive, wherever you save it, it is going to be purely in there. Now there is multiple ways that you can actually delete mods by one of the examples I said is just by unsubscribing and then deleting them in game. Or the second option is what I have right here, which is actually going into the properties in your library and then finding the Steam Workshop and then unsubscribing from there as well, as this will actually delete it from the files as well but the way you actually make sure it's deleted from your files is by well first finding it which i'll show you in a second but also by making sure when you press unsubscribe the files actually disappear within or the, sorry the mod disappears within your files when you press unsubscribe and as you can see the best way to kind of delete or save space on mods is by going to the lo load order and then going to size and then as you can actually my face is covering up but you can see on the right hand side where my face is covering you can sort you can see here on the right hand side you can do sort by and it'll show you a bunch of options you want to do size and then it'll show you which is your biggest uh, mod and then you just press unsubscribe and it'll go from there but that is one way you can do it but now let's have actually a look and no, sorry the way that you actually get into this you know section here is by is by coming out of here is by going to your library i'm going to have to move my camera manually quite a lot here it, you're going to have to go into your game which my face is not covering it. it you're going to right click so you can have got your play and your and your all that options and then you're going to go down to properties and then a screen will come up here and then you're going to go to workshop and then as you can see in workshop here you have then all the mods you can see here which are downloaded and it down and then of course you can uh, sort it by size as I said. So that is one way you can access or unsubscribe to your mods or fully uninstall. But if you want to completely make sure that your files are deleted. Now this I have to admit, I had to do a wee bit of research on this myself. I, I didn't purely just find it out by, you know, by clicking a few buttons. There is a way that I usually find mods, but when I went into that option, it, there was no mods there. So, and a lot of people make this mistake as well, which is why I'm going to say to you now, is that I finished, I just literally just found it up on Google. And the way I did it is, is literally just by searching this up, is how to see Gates of Hell Osfront mods in my files. And literally, this is the answer here. And I'm going to be showing you right now. These are all the mods I have here. So what you're going to do is start off by going into your, this PC, and you should have multiple devices depending what you have. Mine is in my C drive. So make sure you first find whatever you downloaded your Steam into. You need to find the Steam files, which is in my C drive. And it can be in any of them, depending what that where you downloaded Steam, make sure you go into that. Next, you're going to go into Programs 86, as you can see. And then you're going to find Steam. You can see Steam here. And then you're going to go to Steam Apps. And then the, what a lot of people make this mistake is that when you're going to mods in Gates of Hell is that a lot of people press common and then they go and find actual Gates of Hell here. And then they go to mods and then nothing's actually there. This is the wrong way to do it. You don't, this is where you will not find the mods. It will not be there because for some reason it just won't. I actually don't know the main reason for it, but it will not be here. So definitely when you're on Steam apps, do not go to comment, go to workshop and then go to content. And then you can see a bunch of numbers here. Now to tell which one it is, it's it's quite hard, but it is actually four, four zero zero seven five zero. So make sure you click on this one because this one shows the mods. This is the mod file. Now you can, if you really want to make it easier for yourself, move this file into the section, you know, go into common and move it there. But I just prefer to keep it here. And this is where your mods are. Simple as that. Now, if you don't know to tell which mods are which, you're going to actually have to click in the files and then go to mod. And then you can see like a wee mod with a notebook there. Double 
double click on that and then as you can see it will show you the name of the mod so you can see this mod is the improved squads um, and as you can see it'll show you the game version and from there if you don't want this mod you all you have to do is just right click delete and that's the mod deleted but it's completely up to you which type of mod you want to delete now the way this is also done as i said is by making sure that you actually have two of them up at the same time now this is really good to show because this shows that the mod is actually getting deleted so in this case you go to your properties you can go by you know size and as you can see as you can see my biggest one here is some desperate glory 1914 to 1918 so i now need to unfortunately there's no actual quick way of finding this mod i actually need to go through it individually and find it um i don't know why it's numbered it, there should be you know the actual name of it but it's not so what i'm going to do i'm going to find this mod and then i'm going to cut to when you know i find it all right guys so there you go I've, so i found the mod finally it matches it so the way you can do this is make sure you have kind of your workshop setting here up and then you're also your files here so this is the some of desperate glory 1914 to 1918 it's about 13 gig which is quite a lot of space uh, big for a mod and as you can see this is it here so what you want to do is press unsubscribe and hopefully it will also delete the mod as well from your files so and as you can see that's been done and it's actually now deleted it it's i know some you might have not seen it fully but that's it actually for some reason it says it's still there but it's actually now fully gone or if that doesn't work, which I can't believe. Oh, there we go. As you can see, now it's actually getting rid of everything. It just takes a wee bit of time because it is a big mod. And as you can see, the mod is now gone. So there you go, guys. That is it for today. That is how you find your mods and delete them from your game completely. And I hope this has been helpful. I know I kind of blabbered on about it and someone could do it in like 30 seconds and quickly show you. But I thought kind of explaining it sometimes can be a wee bit longer and annoying but I hopefully that step-by-step -step guide has helped you to kind of maybe slow the video down helped you find out and I will do some editing to help you you know zoom it in to help you find uh, the the correct way of doing it so hope guys that is it for today thank you so much for watching and if you've liked this tutorial video then make sure you subscribe if you are new and let me know down down in the comments what is your favorite mod and which one is taking the biggest space up in your hard drive let me know in the comments down below but that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching and our support and i will see you in the next video see you later and goodbye